A strawberry contains over 300 chemicals, coffee over 1,000. The word chemical is not a dirty word, although some alarmists would have us believe that it is synonymous with poison or toxin. Chemicals are just the basic building blocks of all matter. They're not good, they're not bad, they don't make any decisions. People make decisions about how to use chemicals. It would be obviously impractical to list all the naturally occurring compounds in strawberries on the label of a strawberry ice cream. It would be a long list and you'd have tongue-twisting names like uh, gamma dodecalactone or ethyl butanoate. And there would be no purpose served by putting these names on the label. However, when it comes to artificially strawberry flavored ice cream, that's a different case. Here, the label has to state that the product contains artificial flavors. But these artificial flavors can also be a mix of compounds, some of which actually occur in natural strawberries. Others are designed in the lab to taste like strawberries. Again, it would be impractical to list the names of all of these chemicals on the label. But the synthetics have to be approved by regulatory agencies. So there certainly are safety features that are embedded in the use of these uh, chemicals. When it comes to artificial colors, the story is a little bit different. These have to be listed by their names. For example, tartrazine or red dye number 40 so that consumers who for any reason want to avoid these artificial colors can do so. Then there are the incidental additives. For example, pesticide residues. Nobody knows what residues there may be, so obviously there's no listing possible. Then there are processing aids. For example, apples are washed in a citric acid solution during processing. And the fact that there may be remnants of citric acid does not need to be put on the label. Or ground beef during processing is treated with ammonium hydroxide to reduce bacterial contamination. Any ammonia residue does not have to be listed on the label. But of course, the most important information that we can glean from a food label is the serving size, the calorie content, the fat content, the sugar content, uh, the trans fat content, and the sodium content. And these have to be listed on the label. So there's a lot of very useful information that can be found on a label, and there's no need to worry about any kind of components of the food that are not listed on the label.